This is a sight you'll see a lot on this site. Uh, right, we can get hold of Sam. It's Pete. We can get hold of Sam and Sam... Um, so I'll just take you up this way. This is the path towards Fodder, which is the farm shop that's next door to the site. As you can see, people coming in through the gate up there. You wander up there, through that gate, and up into Fodder, which is a cracking little farm shop. It is, as you would expect, priced like a farm shop, but it's all good. Yes. So, you can see how it all works out. And as you can see, just down here, there's uh, drinking water and wastewater dump and your bins. And the clever part about the bins here, which I wish more councils would take on, those there bins, there's no sorting with you, what do you call it? Recycling. Chuck it all in and the council here does it all themselves. They've got machinery to do it. Isn't that clever? So you don't have to worry about stuff like that. No need to recycle, no need to separate stuff off. Just put your bags of rubbish together and dump them in the rubbish bins. I like that. And this would be the entry barrier. It's a new entry barrier this year. They've just had it put on. It reads the number plate, as you might say. And as you come in, you go down this little one-way bit, as it says, to reception. Arrivals are from 1pm till 8pm, and you have to be off by 11, which is fine. And the pitches are all quite level, with one or two exceptions. And those exceptions are up at the top, so this is the way in. And the weather, as you can tell, is reasonably nice. So let's have a quick look at reception. There's the door in. Oh, and there's the lady of the moment. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, how are we? Very well, thank you, are you? Yes, yes, just wandering around doing the, uh, the site tour, oh, as you good. do. Excellent. Now, let me introduce you to one of the most glamorous ladies. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's lovely to see you. <laughs> you too. <laughs> if you're stuck, all you need to do is ask. And yes, she'll help do. you out. You'll have seen her other half, Pete, along the road with a brush in his hand, not where mine normally is, which is up my bum. <laughs> and uh, you'll see him all over the place, running about and working, won't you? Absolutely. He's, always. He's always never, something to be done. Yes. He's never still. <laughs> this is the info area, look. Hang on. I should go wide there. And a small shop, so you've got all your laboratory equipment there and ground pegs, rock pegs, zip ties, always handy. Everything. There's stuff there for ladies, I don't know what they do, but there's laboratory rolls as well. So there we go. Bye. See you in a bit. Enjoy. Will do. <laughs> like I said, he's there. That's Pete. Always busy. Very friendly, talking to everybody. Oh, there's Jill and the dog. Hello, Jill and the dog. Hello. Stay down. So, as further as you come in, you'll come round to get your water, although, as you've seen, there's water points all over the place. More pitches up here. And the important part is, just up here, is the wastewater dump. Morning. Morning. Wastewater motorhome dump. Just here where it says wastewater dump. Uh, so everybody travels up there before they disappear off. And then let's go around here. There's disabled facilities. Around the corner here. More taps for drinking water off and this this is how dog friendly it is is a dog shower uh, currently out of order for the simple reason that mother nature came and froze it all it's a bit of a bugger anyway around the front so this is the amenities facilities block that's where you park up and get filled up which is grand 
uh, all of the information you need is here 9 to 11, 1 to 5, reception opening times, farm shop and cafe at fodder, fire evacuation, local market days, the warden's phone number, the no open fires thing, and it's all good. Loos are cleaned regularly. not going into the loo because there's a bloke performing his ablutions and it seems wrong to interrupt him but I will take you around the back to the Elsan and this is it your Elsan point and it is not bad definitely not drinking water but you've got everything you need and you're not going to get soaked while you're doing it but be careful don't drop your cap down there now what you don't see on a lot of videos, if we walk down this little bit of grass towards our pitch, there's these benches and tables just made of wood in the wood. And it's really very, very pleasant, the whole thing. Now I've not seen it in the summer with everything being leafy, but I can imagine it'll be gorgeous and if you're into birdies you'll see kites flying about the place but look at this out the back of the van just a little seat a little cable drum and you're away and flying it's all good a little bit of unkempt nature in amongst the rest of the site so yes yes i think it's safe to say this is a site that we look forward to coming back to pete's never still he's always doing something he's always talking to somebody he's always there to help somebody like nikki and what a lovely welcoming couple they are it's been amazing amazing having them around isn't that right sweetheart yes definitely yeah. Dog rubbing herself in rabbit poo. Get up, dog. Thank you. Look at the state of that. Have you ever seen anything as daft as dogs? So, there you go. That's a wander around the site. Now, speed wise, um, let's have a look and see what the uh, internet has been like. It'll come up on screen over there. I'll put it over the top of Jill. I don't mean to be nasty. I'd, well, you know. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. Right, so speed wise, um, on EE, EE is not quite as fast as Vodafone here via our uh, uh -huh, ZTE router. You're going to be chewing that bone, are you? Okay. Yeah. Um, 65 down and up is, is up and down like a, I don't know what. However, suffice it to say, the. Uh, <laughs> Suffice it to say, the motorhome show video went up in no time flat. It was quite fast enough. However, uh, it has to be said, with uh, Vodafone, you are looking at 90 odd down, was what we got. Um, and 25, 30 up. Vodafone's very fast. That was just on the phone. You'll be seeing that over there in video. I'm trying to talk for as long as the video runs. I know. Have you tried the site Wi Fi? I haven't tried the site Wi Fi, no. no. Um, but there is site Wi-Fi. I, I don't even know if it's, a, if it's a, I'll see if I can find it. So this is happening in real time via the Caravan Park's Wi-Fi. Let's see how that does. Yes, interesting. Yeah, it'll not do it. I think the uh, Caravan Park Wi-Fi is going to be emails that's it it's not letting us do a speed test so if it's not letting us do a speed test there's nothing i can do to tell you how fast it is no to back up though, it, but it's a backup there uh, if you haven't uh, if you haven't got your own cellular wifi with you while i've got the uh, the documentation in front of me it's all very good you get the map 
he said putting his finger over the, the code for the, the gate for if you need it. Um, we've told you about the dog shower, we've told you about the El Elson Point, there's water all over the place. There is also a laundry, four quid a load for the laundry uh, and the, um, what do you call them, tumble dryer thingies mm -hmm. take coins up to, I believe, two pounds. Um, there's also a dishwashing point for washing dishes. Mm -hmm. See. Laundry and dishwashing. Pink jobs, mm -hmm. definitely not blue jobs. Um, reception, as we said, open 9 to 11, 1 to 5. Uh, the shower toilet blocks are closed for cleaning between 11 a.m. and noon. And the gates are closed between 8 p.m. and 8 a.m., it says here. How that works out, I don't know. There is an overflow site. Uh, that path that we showed you going up to mm -hmm. fodder yeah. there's overflow pitches there and that takes the total um, capacity up to 80 units uh, but under normal circumstances there's 67 mm -hmm. on the main site as it were all of which are as we said level I mean it, it is good and level mm. moreover you allocated your pitch when you get here, so there's no driving around looking for somewhere to go. Yeah, and they're all they're all nice pitches, aren't they? Yes. Um, I mean, even those next to the road, we would mentioned this earlier, didn't we? We did, yes. Even though the road looked very busy, um, it is the road to the exhibition centre, so it will only be used if there is something on at the exhibition. And of course, uh, in the evening, um, there's, no, there's not much traffic at all. No. I mean, there are. Th there will be people that are parked. I mean, it's going to be about six o'clock before everybody's gone mm. away from a big mm. one. But it's quiet overnight. In fact, it's so quiet that Madame Wonderfluff, the, uh, the hound, decided at some point that she had heard, before we did, somebody walking up the back of the van to go for a whatever at the loos. So she uh, let them mm. know. I, there is a guard dog here, and I shall <laughs> stop you from coming past. Thou shall not pass. Mm. That's her, yeah. That was about 11 o'clock. Yes. And she shut, up. she shut up after that, didn't it, you, it, It's a very quiet sound. Even, it is. Even when there's loads of traffic, you, you don't actually hear it. No, it's it's nice. The the noisiest part, the flaming spuggies. Well, yes, as they often are. As birdies often are. Mm -hmm. um, I've just got to show you this. Look at her. Yeah. Never seen out as daft. Checking what's going on around the park. Aren't you, pet? Yes. Anyway, as we were saying, price wise, uh, we paid £30 a night plus £1 a night for the dog. I don't like paying for the dog, but well, it's a pound and live mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. um, this facility is enough for her to be able to do what she needs to do. And as you know, there's Loads of walks? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're very busy at the moment because there's a lot of people at the show. Yes. Um, but yes, there are plenty of walks. Um, and certainly in the grounds of where the exhibition centre is, it, it appears that there's a huge area that is owned by the National Agricultural Society. Is that right? I think that's right. Um, and you're, you know, free to use it to walk, walk your dog, or you know, just walk. Well, yes, um, because I checked on the on the documentation that comes, and this is part of the National Agricultural, whatever it is. Where's that piece? And you, you never find bits of paper when you open for them. Yes, uh, the Yorkshire Event Centre Limited. It's a wholly owned subsidiary of. The Yorkshire Agricultural Society, mm -hmm. this is all part of it. And their offices are just on the other side of where the uh, cafe is. Indeed so. Yeah. Now, here's a little bit of a scoop for you. Um, come September the 8th, there's another show going to be on. And it's the Great Holiday Home Show from the 12th to the 14th of September for we normal people that aren't trade uh, sorry the 8th to the 10th of September for we normal people that aren't trade 12th to 14th for people that are trade uh, the great holiday home show at Harrowgate exactly where this last one's been 
uh, and it says it's the biggest outdoor holiday home show which is heading for the Great Yorkshire Showground in 2023. I shall read this. Organisers of the UK's biggest outdoor holiday home show, Herkma, have announced a new venue for 2023, the Great Yorkshire Showground in Harrogate. The outdoor show of holiday homes, caravans and motorhomes is set to get a brand new look with exciting fresh content to be announced nearer the time. Rebranded as the Great Holiday Home Show, it will be held from Friday 8th of September to Sunday 10th of September for the public, followed by a trade-only show from Tuesday 12th of September to Thursday 14th September. The showcase will see all major NCC manufacturers launch their latest models to the public, as well as to parks, dealers and distributors from across the UK. So there you go. You heard it here first. I doubt you'll have signed it anywhere else because apparently it only got signed on the dotted line yesterday and I'm recording this or we are recording this on Saturday so it only got signed on the dotted line yesterday so there you go piece of news um, as we understand it you'll be booking through the show itself if you want to come here but you will be staying on here at least if not I don't know what the anyway there you are mm -hmm. there you go a scoop yep can I beat the scoop? Absolutely. Scoops are wonderful. Mm -hmm. Ice creams come in scoops. They do. Should I shut up now? Yeah. Shall we call this the end of the video? I think, yeah. Is there anything else we're going to put on it? No, you've lost me now, so there you go. Yes, that's it. This mm -hmm. this is towards the end of the video. We hope you've enjoyed it, hope you found it useful. If you have, you could always give it one of them. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. if you haven't, give it one of them. Nobody mm -hmm. gets to see them, but it still helps grow the channel. It does. And I'm going to join the legions of everybody else that says it. If you're going to leave one of them and you're already subscribed, thank you so much. Tell all your friends. Yeah. Thank you. If you are thinking about leaving one of them, you might like to think about subscribing as well. Why would we want to subscribe, I hear you ask? I haven't got a bloody clue. But just do it, it costs you now. Click the subscribe button. Apparently it does something to help the channel. Mm -hmm. um, and there you go. Why not? Eh? Mm -hmm. Why not? So, until we see you next time, and we will, mm -hmm. enjoy the roads. Enjoy the skies. But most of all, enjoy, enjoy your life. life. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye. bye.